today we're sitting in the uh, newest Prius, the Prius V, mm -hmm. and it has the newest user interface. Tell me about that. Yeah. Well, this is the, the newest device that we have. It's called Toyota Intune. It'll be available in the Prius V this fall. And uh, essentially, it uses the consumer's uh, smartphone, cell phone, to uh, integrate uh, some of the more common applications. Uh, in this case, uh, we're showing Bing, we're showing Pandora, um, we have iHeartRadio and some of the other models. Uh, and the whole point of this is that we want to make sure that we have a seamless integration that helps the customer drive, but doesn't uh, promote distracted driving. So, um, so for example, if I can just show you, uh, yeah, please let's, let's take a look at uh, this Bing. We're, we're sitting here in lovely Colorado. I don't know where a coffee shop is. We can do a Bing search by word. In this case, uh, I've already plugged in coffee. Um, so it reaches out, touches the Bing server, and, and it accesses roughly 15 million points of interest. It finds the, the best match for our location and then gives you a selection um, of where you could go for a local co coffee shop. When you Starbucks, um, yeah. Uh, Starbucks, uh, any of the other ones. Um, you can either call them or, or plot it right into their navigation so system. So if you were to put start, it would it would tell you how to get there, basically. The yes. navigation system would drive you right there. That's correct. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it, so it will overlay. In addition, you still have all the other points of interest that are, that are in the vehicle itself. It provides two databases for where you can start to search for uh, specific points. I, I believe you said that internally, the what comes with the car is maybe a million points of interest, but yeah, with roughly Bing, a model to model, yeah. you've got 15 million because you've got the whole internet, basically. Right. Plus the other benefit is that it, as Bing expands their points of interest, obviously, uh, it gets more and more accurate and, more, and a lot deeper. So for example, with Pandora, it actually accesses your list that you've created on your phone or your PC or your PC and your phone. and um, plays that tune uh, and you can control it uh, either from the radio and in many cases while you're driving also from the radio control buttons here on the steering wheel. But the other features on here, I, I, you have, uh, I take it, uh, stocks and weather mm -hmm. and traffic. Is there anything else I'm missing? What else, If I go back to the apps, what, what other things are on there? Oops, well, we lost the uh, screen. That's okay. It's, uh, there you go. We go back, we have stocks, we have sports, we have weather. In fact, uh, uh, you know the so these are sports scores. If I do sports, yeah, sports scores, you can tailor these to your your home teams, um, and uh, you know stocks. Same thing. You can come up with a list. Oh, so you can let's say I'm a big uh, Broncos fan. Since we're here in Colorado, I pick NFL. That's right. Actually, they're not playing right now, so it's probably a bad time to pick the Broncos. Well, let's hope that there's a preseason. <laughs> Schedule right? not available. Let's go back. That's right. Yeah, let's but, you know, for example, let's here. Pick, how about if we do uh, Major League yeah, Baseball? Major League yeah, Baseball. Let's, let's figure out the Rockies. Let's see how they're doing. That's right. All right. Oh, there you go. So it'll, it'll give you a list of, of uh, the the sports scores, but also uh, you should be able to, to go and take a look at the schedule and see what's coming up. 